Okay, let's... Okay, let's continue. So, let's check everything again. Okay, okay, okay. I suppose it was on this small stage that the monsters were presented to the public. Ah, here's something interesting. Hans's diary. What a dreadful diary. That Hans is the only real monster ever to have frequented this attraction. My friends, as you, as you all know, next week our adventure must come to an end. You also know that I am not good at speeches, so I'll keep this brief. After all this is spent with you here, I can honestly say that I think of you as my family. I am going to miss all of you. But before the fair closes, we've got uh, one last week in business. And during this time I want you all to give the very best of yourselves so that the public will never forget us. 
So before getting back to work, here is the list of jobs for the week. Roger, clean out the aquarium, Ilyas kitchen, Tom, pet, pest control, Martha responsible for the keys to the place, key hub keep of the rail at the cages, Ferguson. The bearded lady kept the key to this exhibition. Interesting. Anything else? Chemistry material. Here's what I've been looking for. The trap is in place. Now I only need to get the guard to go inside the freak show. The guard must be warm. I need to get out of here. The guard is inside. I must close the door quickly. Um, wait, wait, wait. Closed. I must find a way of neutralizing the guard inside. I'll be leaving you. I'm sure you have a great many things to do. Ha. Huh. Ah, what a bastard. Okay, let's go. But what have we got here? Ah, there you are, Holmes. Did you have any problems? None, apart from a few small things. What have you found out about this warehouse? Prince Woodville's soup is loaded and contaminated by hands. And in the direction of Whitechapel. Watson, in a few hours, Moriarty will have at his disposal a formidable army, more powerful and more terrible than anything that has ever existed. But what? The soup is destined for a poverty-stricken, starving population who have been conditioned for months against the ruling powers. Moriarty won't have any trouble in sending thousands of raving mad people to ravage the city, sowing death and destruction. No force would be able to resist them, not the police, not even the army. A perfect army, knowing neither fear nor pity. A tidal wave of humanity which will cover London and will fall away again, leaving a city of desolation behind it. What horror! And the chaos will only make Moriarty's coup d'etat even easier. But how will he guard himself against this bloodthirsty crowd? The chaos will only last for the time he needs. You mean to say... That these poor wretches will all die. 48 hours after ingesting the soup, according to our good Dr. Shieldman. So the victims will be joined by their executioners. An immense mass murder. What Moriarty would call clearing up after work, no doubt. Good. Have you found a way of stopping Hans's process? Yes, I think so. If we can weaken the reservoir's feet with the explosives, for example, it will collapse and take the building down with it. Good work. What are you looking at? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never.
Okay, let's check it. Look, Holmes, there appears to be some sort of control panel. With an antenna, whatever its purpose might be. Priority now is to blow up the tank in the factory to stop the distribution of the soup. Of course, Watson. Okay, nothing here. Oh, wait. Telephone line. It goes to the haunted house. Oh, wait. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. It seems that this window is more vulnerable than the main door. I think it is too high. It's protected by bars with a closed window behind it. must be inhabited. Look, there is smoke coming out of one of them. This stall is a washroom. I can see water basins inside. The door can be blocked from the outside. Interesting. Apparently, they are more interested in games than in cleanliness. of vodka. <laughs> Let's get drunk and forget about this case. I can hear noises. We aren't alone. So can I... This ladder is only held back by a bolt. Look, Holmes, the three Russian brothers. With a coal stove and dynamite. What should we do next, Holmes? And then the dynamite would be very useful for blowing up the tank. Good idea. But in order that we can get it, we'll have to get them out of there without their knowing we are here. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. God damn it, why the hell is everything is so laggy? Oh, okay, we are good. <laughs> I was afraid maybe I don't have enough free space. It is the chimney pipe. It has been cut. It is the chimney. There is no one here, and nothing very interesting.
This ladder is only held back by a bolt. Closed. A metal plate, very solid. Comrades, the exploiters are thirsty, they want blood, have no doubt about it. They never waste an opportunity to place their yokes upon the necks of the working classes. Against us, as revolutionaries, social laws, all the middle class forces, police, army, magistracy, government. But with us, com comrades, we have the invincible will of international revolutionaries. Wherever we might, let us strike the imperialist henchmen, let us return blow for blow. The revolution lives in terror and by terror. Let the people justice, people's justice be fulfilled. An international anarchist's manifesto written in several languages. Sounds very familiar to me. A wanted poster in Russian with the portraits of the three brothers on it. <laughs> A wanted this poster is funny. in Russian with the portraits of the three brothers on it. They are written uh, wanted uh, reward 100 troubles with a gold. Okay. I could smoke them out by blocking the pipe, but the air in the caravan would take several minutes before becoming unbreathable. The effect must be immediate and a total surprise. Um. Must be immediate and total surprise. Can I check anything else? No, I don't remember that I was here. So let's check it. I pity the people who must have risked their lives in this attraction. Super giant. Oh, I can't go there. Ah. This place must have been magnificent. Shh. Watson, look on the stage. Prince Woodville. And it is with an immense pride that I take possession of the attributes of the crown and swear in front of you to serve my people with... Gentlemen, who are you? I don't believe I know you. We... Not as yet, Your Royal Highness, but I am overjoyed that you are familiar with the crowning ceremony. Of course. A good king should know it. That makes my duty so very much easier. Let me introduce myself. My name is Howard Sawbury, and I am in charge of the aforementioned protocol and the master of ceremonial events at Buckingham Palace. Um, yes, and I'm Sir John Cannard, in charge of... of the peacocks in the Royal Gardens. Congratulations, Sir John. Excellent imagination. I'm pleased to meet you, gentlemen, but what brings you here? Do you mean to say that no one has informed you? Have you not been in the city? It is Queen Victoria, of course. She has been dethroned. Really? So soon? Well, according to my special advisor, Professor Moriarty, that should not take place until a few days from now. The people have decided otherwise, sir, and now they're calling for their new sovereign, the benevolent, most understanding Prince Woodville. Ah, gentlemen, you bring me great news. My good people have carried out their duty. I can finally take my rightful place, and happily before the bombs detonated. 
Actually, sir, we're here to warn you that you are in grave danger. What do you mean? Among your close advisors, I regret there are traitors who are already plotting against you. We have reliable information that these terrorists are part of an international anarchist network, and... Ah, gentlemen, I know who you are talking about. I'm sure you mean the strange gentleman employed by Professor Moriarty. Asians or, uh... Russians, sir. Whatever. These men must be stopped before their bombs explode. They're bombs? Yes, Sir John. Bombs placed all over London. I was not at all fond of the idea, but Professor Moriarty was quite adamant. Do you know where these bombs are precisely? Of course not. Uh, but I do know that those anarchists created their exploding devices here. You must tell us everything that you know about the bombs, sir. Why should I? You're not a pyrotechnist, are you? I must speak urgently with Professor Moriarty. They are dangerous anarchists who have committed murderous acts in their own country against the Tsar's line. That is impossible. The Professor assured me of their loyalty. Moriarty does not require you anymore, sir. He does not wish to give you the throne. He desires it for himself. The devil! Sir, we are going to help you. You must tell us where the bombs are planted. The people will never forget a sovereign who began his reign by saving his subjects from such atrocities. I confess that I do not know where they are. Uh, but surely the Russian anarchists must know. What do the bombs look like? They appear very complicated. It is impossible to defuse them. I remember that they were put together here, in a wooden stall between two tents, next to the Russian caravans. They were the only ones who had a key, besides that traitor Moriarty, of course. We're going to try to open that stall. Wait, I, I demand an explanation. If everyone is plotting against me, then how do I know that you are not also party to the plot? But we... Bring me Professor Moriarty, Mr. Sorbury, without delay. Sir John will remain here with me. I should be able to remove the prince without endangering Watson's life. I should be able to remove... <laughs> okay. You are my guarantee. I understand, sir. But in return, you must understand that this places me in a somewhat disagreeable situation. Yes, I, I understand. But the reasons of the state are unfathomable, I know. And I came here to render you a service. Come now. Let us be serious for one moment. These tangled ropes are holding back. You under Wait, wait, wait. There is a label underneath this lever. Magician's trap door, middle of the stage. Exactly where the prince is standing. I can't do that. You must understand that this places me in a somewhat disagreeable situation. Yes, I understand. But the reasons of the stage. These tangled ropes are holding back the curtains. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ha! Huh. Okay. Okay, so as I understand, I must place them so they don't cross each other. Um, no, wait. Hmm.
Окей. Okay. He appears to have passed out. But he could come around at any moment and sound the alarm. Yes, before leaving the theater, we must make certain that that does not happen. Not so long ago, those words coming from you would have frozen my blood. Rest assured, my friend, that Sherlock Holmes no longer exists. Get rid of him now. Hey, presto, it's magic. No more paranoid Prince. Well done, Holmes. Look, Holmes, Prince Woodville lost his ring during the fight. During what fight? What were these dummies at the front of the stage used for? The Prince put them there to represent his public. There is an enormous diamond in the middle of this ring. I will give it to the police later. Okay, anything else useful? This magician has a leather belt, very solid. There is a small bag attached to it. Um. Wait, magician's powder. Uh, let a belt. Okay, nothing else. Let's get out of there. <laughs> okay. And I will probably stop here. Thanks for watching.